Build simple projects from the ground up, that's step one. Clone more complex applications, that's step two. Build your own applications, solving real world problems, that's step three. All you need is one more tutorial. I swear, after one more tutorial, you will know everything you need to know. You will finally be the developer you were always meant to be. You know, over the course of my YouTube tutorial watching career, 132 episodes deep, let's call it, I have not found the video that's gonna get me there. But this 133rd video, this, this is the video that's gonna do it for me. In case you hadn't caught on yet, I'm being sarcastic. These tutorials are not going to help you advance in the way that you think they will. The problem with watching tutorial after tutorial and expecting to actually gather that expertise, to take it into your own mind and utilize it in your own projects, is that's not how the mind works. There's a reason that lecturing is one of the least effective ways to communicate knowledge. It's a passive way to engage with information. The mind is not designed to learn this way. Your mind has evolved over generations to give you the best chance at survival and success. So why is this relevant? It's relevant because your mind wants you to remember things that are going to matter in the future. Now it makes that judgment based on your level of engagement. If you can get your mind to believe that this is absolutely imperative for you to remember for your own survival and success in the future, you will succeed at remembering it because your mind has every incentive to do so. So let's boil that whole point down. How can we think about how to learn? Your brain remembers things that matter to it. But I don't want to give you some abstract notion that you've heard before, it's boring, yada yada. How do you actually implement this? Here's the solution. First, I want you to throw away tutorials for now. They do have their place, but this is not it. I want you to start by building a very simple project. I'm talking calculator, I'm talking random number generator, but you build it from scratch. Now you're thinking, I can't build it from scratch, that's why I'm watching the tutorial. I don't know how to do this. Okay, when you face a problem, I want you to investigate how to solve that problem individually. By investigating things step by step in this fashion, you keep yourself a part of the loop. It's no longer passive. You are engaging actively in your own learning. Once you've built your calculator or such project from the ground up, we're gonna move to step two. I want you to clone a more complex application from the ground up. So what this means is, let's say you wanted to recreate a FinTech app, right? Okay, so I go to coinbase.com, I take a look at its aesthetic and its functionality, and I do my best to replicate it from that point. Now, the same rule applies. When you face challenge in the building process, I want you to investigate how to do the exact thing you're struggling with. Not how to do the whole project, not Coinbase clone tutorial Next.js. Don't do that search. And I hate to admit that there's a reason I know how to make that search so well. It's because, well, I've done this myself. After you've cloned a more complex application, I now want you to solve a real world problem with your own project. Now, here's where things get exciting. Here is where you take true ownership of the entire process beginning to end, from idea generation to actual implementation. And by this point, you will have built up enough confidence to actually approach this effectively. If you're struggling to find ideas for projects, I encourage you to begin this practice. Anytime you discover a problem with the world, something frustrates you, I want you to take out a notepad or open up the notes app on your phone and just begin writing down problems that you face on a daily basis. Then when you're deciding what project to build, just reflect on that list and say, hey, which of these problems might I be able to approach solving with software? So let's reiterate the steps in our solution. Build simple projects from the ground up, that's step one. Clone more complex applications, that's step two. Build your own applications solving real world problems, that's step three. And that is how you escape tutorial hell. If you found this video to be useful, please share it with someone who is stuck in tutorial hell. If you are seeking to become a software engineer and level up your career, we here at 4Geeks Academy offer a software engineering bootcamp designed to do just that. See you soon.